On the 11th floor of Christmas, Mass Air Studio gave to me 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a-leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a-melting, 7 swamps a-swimming, 6 geese a-laying, 5 gold rings, 4 calling birds, 3 French hens, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Lee and Jeremy want to wish you all a happy holidays and a wonderful new year! Hello! Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I am Elf Lee. I'm Elf Jeremy. Yes you are. You have to say that <laughs> after me because you forget when you say it. I totally time. forget to say it all the time. And welcome to another episode. This is Eleven yes. Piper's Piping. Christmas Eve is upon us. There's just one more day to go until the big fat man comes down your chimney with a big sack of presents. Mm. And um, we're excited about this one. So let me tell you how we got to the inspiration in this pour. Yeah. Piper's piping is to us bagpipers. Yeah. I lived in Scotland for a little while. I was up in Edinburgh. We know that some of you out there live in Scotland too. So um, we were envisaging people with the bagpipes and, and making music. Yes. So then we were thinking, well, how can we incorporate that into paint? Mm. Well, we were thinking of the actual act of blowing into your bagpipes. So then we got to a Dutch pour. Yes. So with this pour, both Jeremy and I are going to do Dutch pours. Yes. We may end up doing different compositions on the canvas. We'll see as we get to those. I know. But um, we'll be probably using our mouth, maybe using a straw. We'll certainly be using the blow dryers as well. So um, today you're going to see two Dutch paws. Um, I've got a real interesting kind of very winter wonderlandy kind of palette. That's where I'm going. Um, what about you? What, what is your color palette for your I Dutch paws? I am still making up my mind. It's yeah. going to go, it's going to go one way or the other. I'm thinking about doing like very like, like you said, like winter wanted like ice, uh -huh. you know, kind of icy colors. Right. Or I'm thinking about going a totally opposite way and doing like Scottish Highlands colors. Ooh, I like yes. that. Yes. Yeah, like, that's a really cool idea. Yeah. Like heathery kind of colors, like greens yeah. and browns. Like and really deep ground, uh, really deep green and right. brown and like some gold maybe, you okay. know, something like that. Oh, I really like yeah. that. I think that'd be really interesting. And you've been to Scotland with me before. Have, We've been to I Edinburgh, have. so yes. you could channel those colors. And we saw the hairy cows. We did saw the hairy cows. That's amazing. Hairy cows. Right. <laughs> um, I like that. I think I think that's the way you should go. But, okay. but, but mull it over and see yourself because yeah, that would be really absolutely. interesting. Absolutely. I'll think about it. So, to everyone out there, thank you so much for watching. We've really enjoyed this series. We hope you have too. Yeah. Thank you to everyone that's joined us on our premieres. Patreons, thank you so much for your help and assistance during the series. We've thrown out some colour choices to you guys and you've helped us out a ton. Yes. So thank you to that for that. And um, for everyone else, please just like and subscribe. Um, it costs you nothing to like and subscribe to our channel, but it certainly keeps us going and gives us the motivation we need to keep making content for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you so much. Without further ado, let's show you a couple of Dutch pours. Let's get to pouring. Yeah, let's get to blowing our <laughs> Dutch pours out. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Jeremy here, and I am so excited about this 11 Pipers Piping Pour. Um, I love the colors that I chose. They are very, like, country-ish. Christmas tree. Even. Christmas tree-ish. Yeah. Yeah, very, very Scottish Highlands. Oh, I like that. Yes, There's yes the link, very Scottish Highlands. A tenuous link to the yes, Pipers Piping. Yes. So let me go ahead and show you which colors I chose. I have an, oh, I am doing a... Piper's Dutch Pour. Oh, yes. I like it. Yes. Um, I have the uh, Pearl Deep Brown, which I love to call the chocolate. 
one of my favorite colors to use. I have the Sap Green by Artist Art Loft. Artist Loft. And that definitely has some Vallejo Pearl Medium in it. Yes. And then I have the Aztec Gold by Arteza, which is a nice deep gold, rich gold. Mm -hmm. um, I have the Folk Arts uh, Taupe. Or oh, if you is, come from where I come from, it's taupe. And it's, uh, it's a metallic, right? It is. It's, it's, okay. And then I have Folk Arts um, Antique White. So these are like really, mm -hmm just very kind of it's going to be really cute I think. there is country gardening think, country yeah uh the recipe for these colors because it is a dutch pour uh -huh. is 50 percent flow troll 25 percent paint and 25 percent water there's no liquitex gloss medium in these and they are very very thin they are very thin mm -hmm. um i also have my blick white mm -hmm. um which i'm going to flood my canvas with mm -hmm. um what size so canvas this is an 11 by 14 canvas. It is pinned and taped. Thank you. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I am totally digging this. So why don't I go ahead and flood my canvas for you? Do it. All right. Okay, guys, there is my amazing flood. <laughs> <laughs> I flooded that canvas. You did it amazingly. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. I think I'm gonna start with the pearl deep brown, the chocolates. Makes me hungry for chocolate. You're hungry for chocolate all the time. Uh, yeah, you love your chocolate. Amazing. Chocolate's pretty amazing. Oh my God, there's these, the best like little cookies from, uh, from the grocery store at Safeway. And they, or chocolate mints. I don't know if anybody likes chocolate mint together, but they are delicious and they're like two bucks. I do not like chocolate and mint together, so they're super safe to have in the house because I don't go picking at them. I am going to do the taupe next. Then I'm going to do the antique white. But I would love to know what everybody, their favorite chocolate is. What's your favorite chocolate? Oh gosh. Um, you know what I like is those, they come out at Easter and they come out at, uh, they come out at uh, Christmas time and they're the marshmallow with mm -hmm. the chocolate over them. Oh, those are so amazing. So amazing. All right. So I got a lot of paint on here. Yes, guys. you really do. I really do. I, paint, I, I did that thick. Um, but that's fine because I'm going to use my little Piper's Piping. <laughs> uh, what do they call those? The bags? Bagpipes. Bagpipes. This is my bagpipe for the day. It kind of looks a bit like so, a bagpipe. So um, you can remove that nozzle. FYI, um, and get a wider nozzle at the end. Got it. I'm just wondering, because you've got a lot of paint on, whether you uh, might want to try and do it that way. No, I'm going to do it this way because of the okay. fact of I'll end up putting this whole thing in the paint. You will. You'll put the nozzle in the paint anyway. I uh, so will. Okay. I know myself too well. We just had 
somebody from Scotland say hello on one of the premieres last night. We did, I think it's yeah. Shelley. Shelley's been Shelley. there a few times. Yeah, she has. Yeah. I lived in Edinburgh. That's right. Before I came to Los Angeles, before I came to the Bay. That's right, you did. Yeah. I, we love Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Oh my God, I just absolutely love Edinburgh. Um, this came out really cute. I like the gold, I like the underlying chocolate. Um, I think all the colors mixed really well. Uh, I think it's a successful Dutch pour. So, so is it edges time and close up time? It is. I'm going to get my edges. I'm going to, uh, yeah, get my edges and everything and then go ahead and come in for a close up. Perfect. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Take two. So, I tried to use the big hair dryer on an 11 by 14 canvas and it just really didn't work. I felt like it was just a, a kind of a muddy mess. So, I'm gonna try with Jeremy's favorite, the mini blower, um, and see what kind of composition I get with that. So I've reflooded my canvas with black and now I'm going to re-puddle my colors again. So, I have the silver first. Going in with the really dark violet. Then in with the metallic light violet. Then in with the permanent red violet. In with the beautiful turquoise tealy color. And then on top with some more silver. And I noticed that even though I didn't put a lot of that teal in, it's definitely the strongest color that came through in the pour last time. So let's now blow this out. Now the one thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the nozzle. So I'm gonna just blow with the dryer without the nozzle on it and see what kind of effect that gets me. And folks, we might have a, a third scrape, you never know. Let's just see what happens, okay. Oh wow. Ooh. I like that. Wowzers. Okay, I really like the, the blower without the nozzle on it. Um, it was really pretty. It kind of gave me a, a fatter effect than it does when you have the little nozzle. It's funny, I mean, I wasn't intentionally going for a little flower, but clearly it's very flower shaped. Mm. Um, it's, it seems a little small for this canvas, but to be honest with you, I don't really want to blow it out anymore. Let me just see if I can blow Let me just tilt this around. Why? Huh, that was such an interesting way of blowing out a Dutch pour with the nozzle off that little hairdryer. And I'm gonna keep it just as it is. I love it. It looks like a supernova going off. Like a, like a star exploding. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's really interesting. I think with a different color palette, I could get some really, really interesting results. 
the colors that I chose other than the teal or either pearl or, or metallics. And so they always get a little bit more muted and the teal is the one that's really showing through. But I really like this. It's a really interesting composition using that blower and I will use that more without that nozzle on. I thought it was super interesting. So let me clean up my edges real quick and then I'm gonna ask Jeremy to take you in for a close up because there's so much happening to this that I really want you to see it. There you have it guys. That is 11 Pipers piping. <laughs> yes, so exciting. I, I had so much fun doing these. Yeah, I, yeah. I did too, because we didn't yeah. do a Dutch pour in the whole series. So this was I our know. first Dutch pour. I know, I thought it came out really, really well. Um, I can't wait to show you these uh, results. They're still a little tacky, a little wet. They are, um, they're still but... a little damp. So be wet, be, be prepared to see yeah. some shine on the camera. Yeah. But just a quick reminder, the reason why we decided to do Dutch pour was because of the pipers, yes. the blowing. blowing. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we got to Dutch yeah. pours. Exactly. Shall I show my first? Yeah, absolutely. I really loved using the little air blower, the mm. mini blower with the nozzle off because it gave me like a really fun petal like shape. And this is it. So as you can see, it's a little wet, but it's getting there. Um, you can hopefully see all of the purples and the silver and the wonderful teal that's running through this one. I really enjoy this. I definitely got a flower and um, I just, I think it's a really interesting Dutch pour. I love it on a black background too. So I'm really, really happy with that one, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And you know, it's been so cold in the studio, it's taken everything like four days to, to dry, five days to dry. And we need dry. to film content. I know. So, um, so even, yeah, it's been a little cold. But here is mine. Ooh, you might need to get closer a little. Yeah. I hope it still focuses. Yeah, it does. So mine was those like Highland colors, like the green and the gold and this this bronzy color. Yeah, it's very mossy. Yeah, or taupe. That's what I use. It taupe. is the taupe. Yeah, see there, you can really see it. So I um, I really liked it. I thought I it came out great. I thought it was a good. Yeah, I, as yours sat, yours sold more, which yeah. was really cool. Yeah. And the gold kind of reduced. Like sometimes. Yeah. Gold takes over in a paint, but actually the other colors this time kind of took over, yeah. which made the gold more muted, and I really liked I'm it. I'm really wanting to see it completely dry. Yeah, they will be within yeah. another couple of days. Yeah. Certainly after the Christmas yeah. break, you guys will probably be able to see these dry, yeah. and they'll be on the website at some point very yeah, soon exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. So did I. <laughs> Clo so. Closes out chuckles. <laughs> right. Let these people go out and get on with the rest of their evening so. because. Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve. So you guys have got to wrap your presents, you've got to make sure that there's cookies out for Santa Claus and there's milk and then there's carrots for the reindeer, that's what we always do in England. You know, because he's coming down the chimney tonight, so make sure you're prepared. Carrots for the reindeers? I never heard of that. Yeah, you always put yeah, carrots out for the that's reindeers. That's cute, yeah. that's cute. So thanks everybody for watching this episode and uh, on the premiere with us. We love to talk to everybody. Right. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. <gasps> for, Christmas uh, Day. Christmas Day for a Merry Christmas. Right. So yeah, I'm really excited about and that. And the finale of the 12 Pauls. Yes. All right, guys, have a great Christmas Eve. Have a really fun Christmas morning. Open those gifts and we'll see you here on Christmas Day at five o'clock. Bye guys. Bye guys. Okay guys, so we wanted to take a moment to thank some very, very special people and that's the guys that have joined our Patreon account. What that is, if you don't know, is the opportunity to join at different tiered levels to get different perks from the Massey Art Studio. And they go from sneak peek pictures to a level with videos exclusively just for those pourers, yep. to live streams and tutorials, all the way up to the diamond level where you get to choose the colors for an episode that we yeah. put on YouTube 
And then you get a canvas that we paint for you on the channel on 11 yes. by 14. So with that said, we've got some people that we really want to thank. At the gold level, we've got Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, and Janice Swansea. At our platinum level, we've got Leslie Beaver. Yay! And our diamond pourer, part of our Massey Posse, our diamond MP, is Laurie, aka Sparkles. So thank you guys for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio and supporting us. We appreciate you so very much.